Hi, my name is Dusty, and I'm going to show you how to connect to a wireless network on your Windows computer. First, go to your desktop. Then, in the lower right-hand corner, next to the time, you're going to look for an icon that either looks like two little computers or signal bars. These signal bars may have a yellow asterisk over them. That means that there are wireless networks available. You're going to left-click on that icon one time. It's going to come up with a list of available wireless networks. You're going to want to click the one that has the strongest signal because it's probably the one that you're trying to connect to. Look for a familiar name. Check the box that says connect automatically and click connect. It may ask you for a password. If you do not know your password, call our office for assistance. Hi, my name is Jenny and I'm here to show you how to connect to Wi-Fi on your Apple iPod, iPhone, or iPad. Today we're going to use the iPad. Um, first you need to find the settings button on your iPad. It would be a gear icon. Press and select Wi-Fi. You'll see a list of networks available for Wi-Fi. Select your network. Enter your password if a password is needed and select join. You're now connected. If you would like to check to see if your Wi-Fi is enabled on your iPad, you can simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen. Look at the Wi-Fi icon. If the Wi-Fi icon is white, it shows that Wi-Fi is enabled on the device. If it is great, it shows that it is disabled. To save battery life on your iPad, you simply need to disable your Wi-Fi. To disable your Wi-Fi, you just simply need to tap on the Wi-Fi icon so it turns to the gray in color and now your Wi-Fi is turned off. Thanks for watching this Tech Team video. For more information, visit our website at www.vernoncom.coop or call us at 634-3136. To watch more Tech Team videos, tune in to Community Channels 14 and 15, or check out our YouTube channel.